Now since the deployment preferences must be defined with each new or imported application, we're going to need to configure the deployment and runtime preferences. To do that, click on the preferences button up here in the toolbar. This is the preferences dialog. On the left there are three nodes that we can configure. The first is the deployment environment. This is where we can identify which XMS configuration that we want XCP Designer to use when deploying our application to the content server. So if you don't already have a deployment environment configured, with the deployment environments node on the left selected in the deployment environments pane on the right, you would click the add button. Since I already have a deployment environment configured, we just need to select it and click the edit button. So what do we enter for the environment name? This is the name of the environment that was configured in XMS. Let me show you where this environment name came from. If I launch the XMS Management Center, you can clearly see that XMS was configured with an environment named XCP21Dev. That's the environment name we should specify. For the host name, we enter the name or IP address of the application server where the XMS service is running. The port number is the port number used by the application server where the XMS service is running. For the username and password, enter the credentials of an administrator for the XMS service. Then we can click the Test Connection button to verify that we have configured the connection to the XMS agent correctly. So we're done with our deployment environment. Now it's time to configure a run configuration. So select Run Configuration in the pane on the left. Whenever you make a change to the deployment environments, this dialog appears. You will see that the Run and Preview mode, or Design Time, configurations will refer to one of many deployment environments you may have configured. To be sure that these other configurations use the new settings of the modified deployment environment, you should apply the changes now. For name, I like to indicate the deployment target environment and whether the run configuration is an incremental or full configuration. For environment, select the employment environment that you have configured. For deployment method, let's select incremental and for data policy, let's select maintain as those are the recommended settings. Next, Leave this setting to allow any re-indexing that has to occur as a result of deployment so that the Explorer server can perform the indexing asynchronously and you don't have to wait for the indexing to complete. Using this option, the deployment would have to wait for the items to be queued to the index server, but it won't have to wait for the indexing to complete. Click Next. This wizard page allows us to override values for application level parameters and endpoints that were configured in the XCP Navigator Application tab. This allows the person deploying the application to override the values of application level parameters that might be different from one deployment environment to the next. Here's an example of setting an application-wide parameter, param default location, to override the value of the variable at runtime to the documentum cabinet path as concordant. Click Finish. Now we want to configure the full and clean run configuration that we discussed earlier. Let's quickly configure a new one by pressing the Add button and configure it the same except that we want to use full and clean for the deployment method and data policy. We should configure a design time environment in order to support the preview mode and debugging. Preview mode is new to XCP 2.1 Designer and it is a very useful and time saving feature. The design time environment defines which services the local preview mode feature accesses. So click the add button. There are four wizard pages to configure. 
The first is to configure how the documentum repository can be accessed during preview mode or debugging. Validate the connection. Click Next. The second wizard page configures access to the BAM server. Here you either enter the IP address or the DNS addressable name of the BAM server. Then enter the port number for the BAM server that has been configured for this environment. Validate the connection. Click Next. The third wizard page is where we configure access to the Documentum Global Registry. Validate. Click Next. This fourth wizard page allows you to name the design time environment configuration. Click Finish. Now you're ready to test your application. Click OK to dismiss the Preferences dialog. Look at the Run Buttons drop down and you'll see the adjacent button is the Preview button. We will cover this in a later demonstration.